let me be clear. There will be no tolerance for violence. What we witnessed in our nation's capital was an undemocratic and unconscionable assault on our republic and the freedoms upon which our nation was founded. California will take every necessary measure to protect public safety and our democratic principles and to ensure that those disgraceful actions are not repeated here. Well, tonight, chain link fences surround the Capitol in Sacramento. Other barriers are in place as well. Extra police are patrolling, and the CHP is refusing to issue permits for rallies at the Capitol. Governor Newsom also says the National Guard will help protect the Capitol and state buildings across California. Well, tonight, we've learned every sworn member of the LAPD, that's nearly 10,000 people, will be in uniform next week so they can respond immediately to any violence surrounding Joe Biden's inauguration. The department says it has received no specific threats related to next week, but they are not taking any chances. A Glendora man is the first person from the L.A. area to be arrested in connection with last week's insurrection at the Capitol. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock shows us what the 20-year-old is accused of doing. That's right, we've obtained video that we believe shows both the vandalism and the arrest. Frame by frame, it matches the sworn statements from Capitol Police. Kicking in window panes at the nation's Capitol and shattering two of them with his fists before officers hit him with a riot shield and took him to the ground. Captured on cell phone video just released. The feds say 20-year-old Hunter M. Key of Glendora is now facing three federal charges, damaging or destroying government property, obstruction of an official proceeding, and violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. He was arrested at his home in Glendora last night and taken to federal court today. Not only am I not surprised that they're going after him on federal charges, I hope they throw the book at him. Brian Levin is the director of Cal State San Bernardino Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism. He says Hunter Remke may also face more serious charges as more evidence, like video of the crime, comes out. The police were way outnumbered. They were able to identify him by his license. Police say people in the crowd of hundreds, which they were desperately trying to hold back, were shouting things like, you're not leaving here with him. So as members of the House, Senate, and VP Pence evacuated the chambers, officers seized Emke's driver's license and let him go. Tonight, no one answered the door at his home, and family didn't respond to a request for comment about what led him here. What we often see at these highly charged protests are different levels of engagement, and indeed, people who want to perpetrate insurrectional violence. The feds are not saying why MK went to D.C. or how he got swept up in the siege, but these charges are serious and the consequences could be severe. What happens to one's reputation when they're involved in one of the most covered, violent, insurrectionist events in recent history? It's not going to be a good look on your resume. And MK was set to be released this evening on a $40,000 bond. He's ordered to appear in court in Washington, D.C. on January 21st. Reporting in Glendora, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. On this Thursday night, a live look at the nation's capital, still on high alert. Prepared in case of an attack again.